Welcome to my house, Buck here. And we're finishing up the last piranha mission in South America. We still got, we got the mega piranhas. We need three of them. And we got one on each water. We got Makamaku Lake, we gotta go grab one. Uh, the Moran River, we gotta grab one. And Amazon Mains. So, by getting all the cyber piranhas on all three waterways, we got the adamant leader. Now, with that adamant leader, now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm cut, I'm doing this intro. I've already filmed everything, so I'm gonna cut to it. So, um, when we started off, I basically, I'm putting the adamant leader on my sticks. However, they were the same, they were the same size, everything, three odd hooks from hunting the cyber piranhas. Now, I didn't change them up till a little bit later after I realized that those three odd hooks weren't gonna get it for <clears throat> these mega piranhas. So what you want to go with, and let's go over there and take a look right now. Um, and go here, boom, jump over my sticks here. Now, still taking the same sticks, guys. But what I've, what I've changed up on everything is it, it's a five-odd hook and blood. I'm throwing that on every five-odd five hook and blood. On well, I'm not using those guys here. Um, there's the other down, bottom rod, blood. Now, one, one rod, I got a match rod here, and... I started off with meat chunks on him um, throughout the entire mission. However, when I, I we did the Amazon maze last, and by the time I got to the Amazon maze, I went, I got rid of the meat chunks and went strictly 100% blood across all the poles. And of course, I got lucky at, at the Amazon maze, and it it didn't take me long at all. But uh, Maku Maku Lake, it it, it was. It was a rough one, five days. And it's all about, I fished in the mornings. Every morning I fished from five o'clock. Actually, I would go in at four o'clock. I fished from four o'clock in the morning through the curve up to eight o'clock. I didn't grab anything there. I'd fast forward to 1800 hours, six o'clock, 6 p.m. And I'd fish from six to nine every day. That's what I did. Just as soon as I hit nine o'clock, boom, fast forward to four o'clock in the morning, fish it through every day five days it took me until I hit the exact conditions that you need to catch this guy on you know and that's basically you want sunny the barometer high you want the winds from the south at 1.1 you want some water temperature and, and air temperature 82 and 86 that's what you want you definitely want your 82 degrees and at least 86 water temperature or that type of ratio right somewhere around there and that it seemed to be that condition whenever you met that condition uh, i did it on the first the first guys there on the uh, Moran river on day two nailed him on day two uh maku maku day five uh, got to back to the amazon day one Day one, seven o'clock, boom. I fished through the morning one, but as soon as I fast forward, uh, you know, as soon as it hit, I, I went to 1800, six o'clock, and I think it was seven, 715, he nailed it. All right, guys, so with that being said, that's the sticks, that's the inventory, that's the conditions you need to hit. And with that, I'll cut away, I'll throw up what I've got here and enjoy. Mega Piranha. Where do we go for him, I wonder? Probably back to... Where's that? Current? Oh, it's a monster. South America Mega Piranha. Ah. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, thank God I don't have to catch friggin' 80 of these. Oh. We have one in every spot. Oh man, boy, they make you spend some money on this mission, don't they now? Because I was going to say, well, hell, I, if I would have known, because I didn't even know about this mission until I got to the Amazon, which made me then come back to all these. Nice so you got the, the trick is you got to track this first mission, not this one, the Mega Piranha, but the Adamant Leader. You need to track that right away the first point you get the first time you get to Maku Maku. That way you can get your while you're there doing your missions 
then you can pick up your your 21 cyber piranhas and then move to the <clears throat> the Moran River and do the same thing the Amazon do the same thing and you gotta then you'll yeah then you can stay at the Amazon and, and you'll get your you'll get this mission when you're there and you can hit that one you still gotta backtrack you still gotta leave and come back Yep, they managed to do that one good for us. All right, well, we're here. I guess we have to equip this inventory now. Where are we at here? We gotta go back here to backpack. Here, find the leader that we got. There it is. All right, so we're just gonna, I mean, we get five of these. All right, they only gave us four of the other ones. Oh, I can use five poles then. Excellent. Oh, don't make everything go away. Sweet. Okay, so we want them on there. And we want them here. Well, guys, let me get my leaders on here. I'm wasting time in video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have fished down there off that double dock until it's like 1246 down the morning. I keep going over and reading that damn thing what it's saying. It's got, it said about a dock, you know, a pier. And be cautious around the pier. So, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm still here with that spawn in there, the, the docks there. But I've been walking, just, I started walking up the bank back towards the actual spawn in spot. And I'm seeing a little bow up here. I'm on this old wood, this old ratty ass, ricky ass wood bow. And I saw the water blowing up over there by that tree. So, I'm just floating, floating some blood past it here a couple of times. See, see if we can get anything. I'll be back. Okay, guys. What I've done now is. blow up all the way around that log. I pulled out all four of my bottom rods. Uh, make that log the center face of my clock. I've got my bottom rods sitting at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 and 9. All the way so I can circle that log all the way around it. And we'll see. I don't know. I've got a couple of rips off captives already. Off the 3 o'clock spot. Piranha, see how it's blowing up? A couple of piranha off the flower box spot. So, we'll see. We'll be right back. Well, fellas, I'm back. And this is what happens when you leave your freaking poles in the water and you don't eat dinner. My license expired. Yankee fish said, didn't know my license was expired. I said, release. It doesn't matter what she's on the hook. Even if you hit release, it's still going to go through the verification process. And I just got nailed for $35,000. Gotta love that. So, what the hell? You want to buy a license now? Fits on it. What can they do? Ah. Back. Well, guys, that is something you don't want to do. What I just did. So I figured I'd put it on video. What better learning experience? Don't leave your poles in the water. Don't walk away from the game. Um, I guess I could have quit the game that point maybe I didn't think about that I'm gonna have to work on that maybe I should have just quit the game shut her down I don't know but I just got nailed for 35,000 I I love it never ever give up the fight 
Well, guys, I think I got him on here. We're hooked up. It's him. I have four. I got four big bottom rods down there. And of course, I was playing around with this little 22 pound pig, and that's the one he hit on. I should play around do that to you. Five rods in the water. I think it's gonna hit the weakest rod you got. Guaranteed. So I'm gonna fight him for a little bit. He's out there away. He keeps running. Well, my buddy Mike has just texted me wanting to know if I had any luck yet. Mike. We're going to find out when I record this video. I just got a hold of him right now. And of course, that one down there is yakking, and it ain't going to go away the whole fight. I can guarantee you that, too. All right, guys. I'll be back when I get this critter landed. He's going to take a while in this little ball. Well, we almost got him in there now, fellas. Like I told you, oh, that alarm, that bottom rod down there hasn't gone off. Hasn't quit yakking yet. But there he is. New personal, a monster mega barrage. 17 pounder. Not too shabby. But you know the deal there, guys. You gotta get a picture of him. Time. I'll be right back. All right, guys, there we go. Not too shabby there. We'll keep him. And we'll keep him. Oh, come on there. You, you, you couldn't have gone away yet. You have to keep you out there through my whole damn video. Let's see what's on here. Probably a half pound piranha. Making noise the whole time. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Little tiny stuff. But we're not going to get two of them now, are we? Well, we're yanking all the poles in anyways, guys. So, we're off to Maku Maku at this point. There we go. All right, fellas, that finishes up here at, where the hell are we? We're at, Makamaku, there's the Amazon. I don't even know what waterway I'm on right now, for God's sakes. We're on river. All right, we're gonna pack up shop, take a quick puddle jumper flight up to, up north to Makamaku, Peru. I'll meet you up there. We're going after this this critter on that waterway. With that being said, I'll see you in Peru. Well, guys, this was the heaviest tug I've had. Day two, the seven o'clock time frame. Nope, just a big old uni rip saw. So. Well, fellas, I think we got him. Finally. Unbelievable. Day 5, 714. There he is. Come on, you big bad boy. Oh, nice 16 pounder. We will mark him off the list. Get a picture of that boy. He was a long time coming. Long time. Nothing like a double. <laughs> oh man. Unbelievable. It took me so long. Five days of fishing in the morning and at night. Another decent one. 
All right, fellas, here we go. I'll be right back. All right, fellas, first cast. <clears throat> Got him on a float rod, which is sweet. Not one of my bottom rods here. Um, we're on the boat dock. We're back at the Amazon maze. There he is. Go over. Whoa, new personal record. Monster Mega Piranha. We gotta get a picture of this bad boy. We'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, there he is. And we will keep him. And that completes. So let's see what happens here. There we are. We got our reward. Mega Piranha Mount. And our backpack. Oh, some nice XP's. Oh, I got beat up on, I just took a hit for $94,000 repair bill when I left Makumaku. I got nailed. I only made $107,000 and I had a $97,000 repair bill. Not cool. All right, we'll claim this one. Now what do we do? Let's go take a look at missions here. Congo River Duck Court. That's it? Wow. That's all. Hmm. All right. Well, that completes South America Adamant Door. We got we got our three got our three mega piranhas well, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit I had a lot of fun that second one though the Malky Malky Lake was that was tough that that was that was a tough one again off the boat docks um, that's where we're going and let's jump back over there and pull the map up there like we're just I'm just right here on the boat dock off the corner right here just thrown right into where the red, my red tail barracuda is. I guess we better mark this guy here. We'll get some coordinates and you'll have them. Mark the last fish. Set the mark, yes. There we are. So, minus 527.73, Thank you much there. And that's him right out there in the middle. The middle one. Alright guys, I want to thank you a lot for watching this one. I hope it helps you out. And remember, five days it took me. Never, ever give up the fight to get results. We'll see you later.